Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another episode of Bronze Spectate. Huh? What's that? Uh, I mean, Escape from Gold. Previously, we were at Gold 5, 91 LP, one win away from our Gold 4 promos. Can we get into it and win it this time? Hopefully. But before we get into some games, we needed to upgrade our champion to another level. So we had to go into a normal game to test out our Mastery 7 emote. Make sure we got it down packed because you know we are now basically a challenger Talon main. We have not played ranked in 9 games so the normal itself was pretty good practice. We got a few kills, a few deaths and eventually won the game. But it was now time to play some ranked and we were up against Nar. I don't know too much about this matchup. I assume Nar should win because he's ranged and can stack armor. But we managed to get off to a solid start as we poked down Nar and then eventually went in for the killer blow. Picking up the kill. It was a bit sloppy. But who cares? In the 7th minute, Nar then TP'd down to the bot lane and his TP didn't quite work out that great. We got a free lane and the first blood tower, so things were looking really good. Because we got the first tower, I then had so much time to roam around the map and that's basically free low for Talon. We took down Twisted Fate and then roamed down towards the bot lane where we actually 5 man ganked the bot lane. First down went Rakan, eventually down went Warwick. And then Tristana. That gave the whole team a huge, huge lead. And we just pushed that as much as we can. Firstly taking down Nar. And then I almost got myself caught out here. I thought I was going to be dead. But I managed to burst down the Tristana. And then Twisted Fate for some reason didn't have his gold card. Huh? 17 minutes in, the game was basically over. Jarvan was feeling frisky. He went in. So I decided to back him up. But it didn't quite work out for me. But luckily, my team eventually won the team fight. Eight kills to 23. This game was basically free low. There was one more fight. I ended up getting a double kill and going down. But we won the team fight once again. Winning that fight led to all three inhibs going down. So we had a free Baron to take. Me and Echo tried to take it ourselves. But uh, we had to wait for Jarvan because we were about to get executed. That would have been pretty embarrassing. But no need to worry. We got the Baron and basically just used the minion waves to win the game. And with that win, we have made it once again to our goal for promos. And would you look at that? Riot Games being very, very nice to us. They want to see us climb for some reason. We were granted one free win. So that essentially means we just got to win one of our next two games to make it to goal four. So into the promo game. And guess who we are up against? A misfortune top. Huh. Is that the OCE solo queue special? So Misfortune was playing pretty aggressive early on. I landed my W, so I thought, screw it. I'm going in. I want this kill with Ignite. But unfortunately, Misfortune also had Ignite, so I went down first. That was not the best start to the game, but luckily I found a Zin Zhao trying to quietly do the blue buff, but I was having none of it. I had to use my flash there so I didn't get stunned. But now things start to turn horribly wrong. Twisted Fate decided to go in. I wasn't keen at all because I knew Misfortune was right there. I pinged Twisted Fate to back off, but for some reason I jumped over. I'm so Moments later, me and Warwick are waiting patiently to take down Misfortune, but hello, Xin Zhao decided to come to the party instead. At this point in the game, we were slightly behind, but Twist of Fate made a nice gang to the top lane, and I came in swiftly for that kill steal. The enemy team then try to be sneaky sneaky to take this dragon, but I came and instantly popped the jungler. Unfortunately, I went down as well. And from there, we started to slowly get ourselves back into the game as MF, for some reason, thinks she can fight a Talon. Nope. 
We had to flash away from the victor. I was pretty scared because he was fairly fed at this point. Uh, but we actually managed to bait him into his own death. Oh, would you look at this, Miss Fortune thinking she can farm safely. Nah, it's not going to happen. As I went in and took her, uh, wait. Okay, so for the next few minutes, I decided to boost the enemy team's ego just a little bit. Give them a few kills so they don't feel too bad. Moments later, I kind of got bored of dying, so I saw Jin. He wasn't paying attention, so I thought, yeah, I'm not going to give him a kill. So we took him down, jumped over the wall, killed the misfortune. Our team won this fight fairly easy. We did go down, however, but from that we got Baron. And then this actually ended up being the final fight. I was actually sitting on a ward. I decided, hey, I'm going to try and burst down this misfortune as quick as possible. I didn't get the kill, had to flash away, but I did get her pretty low. And then my team, I don't know how because I wasn't watching, but they completely destroyed the fight. Twisted Fate was popping off, and from that fight, they just pushed and won the game. GG, well played. Ladies and gentlemen, the climb begins now. Finally promoted to Gold 4. We decided to play one more game, but in the next champ select, we had a Yasuo mid. And I wasn't keen to play with a Yasuo mid against a Nasus who is just going to stack armor. And then I saw the Lulu, so I immediately dodged. We then had to wait 5 minutes before we could queue up again. So we waited the 5 minutes, got into another game, and we're going to be playing Talon once again. But this time up against Nasus. We couldn't get any kills on the Nasus in lane, but we made a quick roam to the mid lane and got a free kill on the Katarina. Nasus is very difficult to kill once he gets his ultimate, so we're basically just going in for quick trades, using our Storm Raiders to get out. Even though I wasn't able to get too many kills, as you can see in the top top right hand corner I had 142 CS in 15 minutes which is pretty damn good especially for my standards with all the gold I got from farming I was actually super fed and Oriana was pretty fed as well I decided to go in for the tower dive yeah I did go down and didn't play that perfectly but we did get the two kills and we managed to get the tower and then the inhib and after that I got a free kill on the Lucian I was doing well, my team was doing well, we took three of the inhibs, this game was looking very, very easy. Warwick then tried to kill the fed Ariana, he was getting pretty close but I came in just at the right time to take him down and then this ended up being the final fight. Uh, Ariana, a nice ultimate onto the Katarina, got the two kills. And we, uh, yeah, we get altered by Warwick here, and I do eventually go down. And it looks like the red team are about to win this fight, but Jinx just pops off. And Shaker, where was Shaker? I'm not sure where Shaker was. He comes in at the last second, and we managed to pick up the win. Three wins this episode. All those games were not really that exciting. We won them pretty easily or pretty convincingly. Uh, but we're now sitting at gold for 19 LP. It's nice to see we are getting closer to platinum and further away from silver. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If so, drop that like button. And as always, have a nice day.